Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a video I've done before and I called it a full face of makeup that inspired me today and we're going to be doing that again today. I just really wanted to go through my makeup and pick out things that spoke to me for whatever reason and I feel like this is a good thing to do if you're trying not to spend money or buy makeup that maybe you don't need to buy. This is a really good thing to do. Just go through your makeup that you do have and just pick out things that are exciting to you and you're just in the mood to use. So that's what I did today. If you are new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so today we're just gonna do full face of makeup that inspired me, something that I was in the mood to use today. I did a video like this months ago and I don't know, I really like the name so I thought we could do it again. And let's get into it. So the first thing I wanted to use is this. So this is the Say Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow. Yeah. Star Glow. So this is kind of similar to the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury, but it does come in a pump bottle. So this is what it looks like, and this is very thin and liquidy, so that's what the consistency looks like. So the consistency of this is very different from the Flawless Filter. This is much thinner, almost like a serum consistency, but the overall look that you get is pretty similar. Um, I definitely don't like it as much as the Flawless Filter. If you watch my videos, you know how I feel about the Flawless Filter. I feel like nothing is exactly like that, but I do like this and I kind of want to play around with it a little bit more. I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Freeze today. I kind of got away from using this because I've been using my Refi brow sculpt but I used this the other day and I kind of forgot how much I really like this so I was in the mood to use it again today also if my face looks like it has more color than it normally does it's because I'm trying out a new product and I've only used it twice and already my face is like Got a lot more color to it. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because I want to keep using it and see what I think before I talk about it, but that's why my face has more color to it and my body is also a good bit darker right now because I did self tan a few days ago. So if you were wondering, that's why. Okay, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown stick corrector today in the shade Bisque and I'm just going to tap this in. Okay, then it took me a minute to pick out a foundation. I always struggle picking a foundation because I have quite a few at this point and I don't know, I just struggle with it sometimes, but I was really in the mood to use the Dior Backstage today. And I actually have two shades of this. So I have 1.5 and 2.5 neutral. 1.5 right now is going to be a little light. I think 2.5 is going to be just a little bit dark. I don't know. Maybe not. Let me put some on the back of my hand. I haven't used this foundation in a little while, but I love it. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so that is 2.5 neutral. Honestly, I could probably get away with that. I might mix in just a tiny bit of 1.5 so this video will go up on let's see the 30th so this will be my last video of this month and then it will be june i cannot believe we're almost halfway through this year and june will be my three year YouTube anniversary, which is crazy. I have a lot of 
good videos planned for the month of June. So if you're new, definitely subscribe. I have a lot of videos coming that I've been trying to kind of plan out over the last week or so. Okay, so yeah, this match is actually pretty good with mixing just like a tiny drop of 1.5 neutral in. This is such a pretty foundation and it looks really pretty with that glowy super gel underneath. Because the Dior is, I would say this is more of a natural finish foundation. So it's not too glowy if you put something glowy underneath. I'm not going to add any more coverage, I don't think, because I want to leave it just pretty light. And then we'll use concealer and kind of spot conceal a little bit. So I'm going to use this concealer, which I also haven't used in a long time. It's the Dior Forever Skin Correct, and this is the shade 1.5 Neutral. I like this concealer. I don't know why I haven't been reaching for it recently, but I do like it. It's a good one. Okay, so I'm going to kind of let it sit for a minute, and I think I'm going to spray my face also with a little bit of the Charlotte spray, and I'm just going to blend my face or my cheek area with that same brush. This is the BK Beauty 106 brush. One of my favorites. And then, okay, where is my... You already know what brush I'm going to use for under my eyes, my Sigma F03. So many of you have told me that you bought this brush for your concealer and you love it. I'm so glad. I I think I've been using this brush consistently for like a year probably now for my concealer and I mean I rarely use anything else. I just, I don't know, something about it I just really like. Alright, for bronzer I pulled out this one since this just came back in stock and it's the Laguna Cream Bronzer from NARS. So I got this, I guess it was it last summer when they released this and then they said it was limited edition and I think it came in two shades, Laguna and Casino and now it comes in multiple shades. I think there's five different shades now but I never fell madly in love with this bronzer and I don't really know why here's what mine looks like and I've heard a few people say that this original Laguna is close to or it is Laguna number two with the new formula so this is what it looks like I think the formula on it is good it's very 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 pigmented from what I remember so you have to kind of be careful with it and I don't know if that's why I haven't really reached for it. I don't know, because Laguna, the powder bronzer, is that was my first high-end bronzer ever. And I love that one. But this I just never got really, really into. But I want to use it again. And see, I'm going to use this same brush. So I'm just kind of getting some on the brush. And then I'm going to kind of tap off the excess on the back of my hand. I will say I think I've kind of gotten, I guess, maybe a little bit more used to using cream bronzer since I got this. I do think cream products, especially like cream bronzer and cream contour, they can kind of take a little bit of practice, I feel like. And if you're not, um, if you haven't applied them a lot, they can be a little bit intimidating. But I feel like in the last year, I've tried so many cream bronzers, and I definitely like cream bronzer more than powder bronzer right now. So I feel like maybe that's why 
I didn't gravitate towards it because it's very pretty, especially this time of year when I have a little more color or just when I have self tan on. I think the main key here is definitely just to try to tap off a lot of the excess on your hand or on like a tissue or something before you go onto your face. Let me know if you have this bronzer or if you are getting one of the new Laguna bronzers. I know a lot of people were excited when they brought them back. I was kind of confused as to why they were making that this bronzer limited edition in the first place. Because I feel like this would be a really good core product for NARS. So I'm glad to see that they're bringing it, or they brought it back. So yeah, it's blending out very well. I'm going to take a little bit on my jawline. Yeah, it's, I mean, it blends out really easily. I think the key, like I said, is just you have to kind of be light-handed. Okay, for blush, I kind of want to use a powder blush, and I pulled these out. I have both of the Rosy Glow blushes from Dior. I definitely use the pink one the most, but what I was thinking I kind of wanted to do today is mix them and just kind of dip my brush in both because I don't think I've ever done that before. So let me grab a brush. I've kind of been going for this blush brush again, the Smashbox Angled. So I'm gonna take a tap of the pink and a tap of the coral. Mm. Gosh, that is a pretty blush combo. So maybe I need to start doing this. I love the pink one on its own. I will say the few times I've used the coral one on its own, I like it, but I don't love it by itself. So I'm thinking this is going to be the way to use these, or to use the coral one at least. I'm just tapping this on. Okay, I pulled out this. I haven't used this in a very long time, but this used to be one of my favorite things, and it's the Pat McGrath Under Eye Setting Powder. So this is the light color, and I'm just going to apply just like a tiny bit of this under my eyes. This has been my go-to brush for under my eyes too. It's the A14 from the Morphe Ariel collection. It's like the perfect size to fit under your eyes. I really, really like it for that. I'm just gonna use a little bit of my Bite powder. And I'm gonna put just a little bit right in the center of my forehead. And down the side of my cheek here under my blush and my bronzer. All right, and then let's fill in my brows real quickly. I'm just gonna use this Dior Brow Styler. And oh, another thing I was gonna tell you guys, uh, if you notice, my nails are like completely chopped off. So I decided about a week ago that I was going to just have my nails be natural for a while. So usually what I get is I have, well, it's my natural nails, but I get dip powder, which I really like. I like how that looks. And I've been doing that pretty consistently for, I don't know, probably six months or so. But I don't know, sometimes I get in these moods where I'm like, you know, I don't really feel like going and getting them done over and over, number one. I like doing that sometimes, but sometimes I just don't want like the hassle of going and doing that and then when they grow out you got to go back and you got to have it taken off and redone and all that stuff. So I don't know, I guess like a week and a half ago I decided 
I was going to have it removed and just have my nails be natural for a while and let me tell you my poor nails they are so weak and brittle now and something about me is I have always had super strong nails like mine I just always have I have really long nail beds and my nails are just strong like I've never had trouble with them breaking or anything like that so I mean I've had the dip removed before and I remember it being like this before too it's just it had been a while since I'd had my nails natural and poor things they are not looking or feeling their best right now but anyway I'm just trying to go natural for a while and kind of let them breathe because clearly they needed it because they I had her cut them off when I did when I had it removed so they were really short but they weren't this short and then after I'd been home for like a day a few of them like the tips of them started breaking and I was just like okay so clearly I'm gonna have to just go through and chop them off so I did but yeah so that's what's happening with my nails I'm just I don't know kind of want to go natural for a while I don't know I found this nail polish brand on I think I think it might have been in an Instagram ad, I can't remember, but it kept popping up. It's called Dazzle Dry, and supposedly it's like, it gives you the look of like dip on your nails or gel polish, but you can remove it at home like normal polish. So I don't know, I thought about maybe ordering some of that and trying it. Learn from me if you get your nails done constantly. Maybe consider giving them a break for a little while because clearly mine really needed it because they are not looking too hot right now. Alright, for the eyes, honestly I haven't really been into eyeshadow lately. I don't know why, I guess I'm just kind of going through a phase. But when I do, this is kind of what I've been reaching for. And I've talked about this before. I've been using this a ton, but it's by Rim Beauty. And it's the Midnight Matte Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Later. And I am, this is probably my most used eyeshadow for like the past month, I would say. I really love to just put this on my eye like that. I usually just take whatever eyeshadow brush I have, like this is the MAC 217, and I just kind of blend it all over, so all over my lid and all the way up to my brow. And this is just my perfect one and done eyeshadow. It matches my skin perfectly. And these are so easy to blend. I honestly want to get more colors of these because this is like the easiest cream eyeshadow I've used probably ever. Um, and it's the color, one of you had asked if it was similar to Nude Sticks in the shade Putty. And yes, the colors are very, very similar. The nude sticks is just in like a crayon form, so the consistency is a lot thicker on that one. This one is very, very thin and liquidy. I definitely prefer this one. I like the, the nude sticks one, but I like this one much more. And it's not cheap, but it's not like ridiculously expensive. I think these are $16 maybe from Rim. So not too bad, but I've really been loving this. So some days I just have kind of been putting that all over, maybe some bronzer and that's it. But today I figured I was kind of in the mood to pull this out again. So this is my NARS Summer Unrated palette, which I love, love, love. And I've been taking these two shades. One's a little more cool, pinky toned. One's a little more um, yellow toned. And I literally just take a 
fluffy eyeshadow brush and get a little bit of both and just put it on the lid and blend it up into the crease. And it's just like the easiest neutral everyday eyeshadow look. This is just what I've been what I've been wanting to wear lately. And then today I kind of want to use a little bit of shimmer. So I'm thinking mm, I think I'm just going to take a little bit of this really pretty yellow gold right here and I'm just going to take some on my finger and just add that to the center of the lid and just kind of tap it on with my finger and that's it that's kind of all I've been doing and then sometimes I'll take a smaller brush so this is the Morphe M213 and I just mix those same two shades we put all over and just kind of put them on the outer half of my lower lash line. And I don't know, something about that is just kind of been what I've been gravitating towards lately. And when I picked out this stuff, I was still in the mood to use this. So I really love this palette. If you are kind of on the fence about it, that is the one palette uh, that I just consistently keep reaching for when I actually wear eyeshadow. I think it's so good. I kind of said this in the original video that I did with this one, but it's just very versatile. You can do something really easy and quick like I did today and very neutral, but then you do get those pops of color. You get some shimmers and some mattes. I think it's really good. The formula is very good too. So when I was picking out products for this video, this eyeliner screamed at me. I have been loving this and I don't think that I've used this yet in a video, but it's the Patrick Ta eyeliner in the shade Copper Gold. So I got this, um, I got this a while ago, but I just never ended up using it in a video. And this came out with his new rose eyeshadow palette, but it's just the prettiest kind of rose gold, but with a little more of that uh, orangey, coppery tone to it. But it is so pretty. And it doesn't look, because it's not super dark, it doesn't look super obvious, but it's very, very pretty. So what I've been doing with this is taking just a little bit on the outer half of my eye and then I just sometimes I take my finger or I take like a little brush like this and just kind of smudge it out a little like that and it's I don't know I just really like it it's very just kind of different I love the color it's not like anything else that I have just do the same thing over there and I kind of want to get another one of his eyeliners like in brown or something because I really like the formula on this it's a very creamy and just really easy to work with and blend I kind of want to get another one but yeah this I've been loving using this all the time for mascara you will be so proud we're gonna use something you haven't seen me use in a while but I really wanted to use my Roller Lash from Benefit today, my one of my all-time favorite mascaras ever. But I also wanted to use this again. So this is a little mini of the Lancome Lash Primer. I got this a while ago. I've used it a few times and I just, I feel like I don't see much of a difference when I use it, but I wanted to try it again. I've never used it with the roller lash from Benefit so I figured I would try it again because I know a lot of people really like this one I've never had a lash primer that I just loved I tried the Dior one a while back and I just I don't know I didn't love it I never really saw much difference from it also don't know if you're supposed to wait before you apply 
mascara with this or if you're supposed to just go right in. I'm going to go ahead and do both eyes. Now I'm going to go in with the mascara. I know you would be so proud that I did not <laughs> reach for the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Balm this time. Yeah, see, I don't know if I was supposed to wait because it already kind of feels like it's dried on my lashes. So maybe you're supposed to go right in with mascara. I don't know. I mean, it looks good, but I don't know. When I'm applying it, I feel like that primer has already like dried down. It's kind of hard to comb the mascara on. Yeah, I don't know. Did that make a difference with my lashes? I really don't know. It made applying mascara a little more difficult, so I don't know. Maybe I waited too long. I don't know. I'll keep playing around with it. But for the lips, I pulled out this Huda Beauty lip contour in the shade Sandy Beige. I haven't used this in a long time. I was just in the mood for it. So we're going to try this today. kind of forgot about this color. I have two of these. I have Sandy Beige and then I think the other one I have is Honey Beige, which I also like. And I don't know, lately I have not really been into lipstick. I've been gravitating towards either lip gloss or lip balm or lip oil. And the one I pulled out today is the Dior Lip Oil in the shade Rosewood. I don't know, I just haven't been into lipstick as much. I do really like this color and this lip oil. I actually do think the Dior lip oils are worth it. I know a lot of people say they're kind of overhyped, but I do think the consistency, something about the consistency of them is different from other lip balms or lip oils, which I really like. And okay, I think that is it, you guys. Let me spray my face one more time. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. I love filming these videos. Sometimes this is just what I'm in the mood to do. Just go through my makeup and pick out things that are inspiring me. And that's what we did today. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, your family, or anyone that you think might enjoy my videos. Make sure to go follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.